All right, what's good, everybody? Fuzzy here. This is me. Didn't know. That's what I look like. Now you know. All right, whatever. Cool. So, tactical analysis, Galatasaray, and then what the fuck? PSG. Uh, this is the first time I'm watching it back since we played these games. I wanted to give, like, surface level thoughts when I'm analyzing this. It's going to be very defensive and position oriented more than it is passing. But I'm going to try and break down as much as I can. Other than that, I'm not targeting anybody. I've said this a couple times. Don't be offended. I just want everybody to be on the same page. So I'm going to just watch the full game through, kind of pause it as it goes. Uh, Galatasaray, kickoff, here we go. Alright, they have the ball, they're breaking, down our wing. Center back should be dropping. I'm showing to slow him up so we can't just send the ball. Left mid's got to be sprinting back. I can already tell they're jogging. Sprint back. This is your man, it's your, your, your problem. Get back. Because you got one, two, three all standing around me. I can't do much here. Panda's coming over to help. Left mid's got to drop. Three seconds, left mid, still here. Through ball in behind. It's defended, but could still do better. Actually, I'm going to go back right there. So, LCB wins it. Gives it to Danny, comes to his feet. Juris is wide open. One, two. Hesitates, has to play it long. Lose the header. Thankfully, I'm there to win it back, but got to move it quicker in the back. All right. Possession. Long ball. What are we doing? This isn't going to work. You get your cam wide open. Look at all this space right here. Play the ball in the space. Let the cam do his job. Ball's coming to Driss. He's got that first time. Comes in. Still probably has it. Takes a touch. It's gone. Got to go to go to Danny there. Don't go across. As soon as that guy drops back, go to Danny. Danny Lambs out. Still in possession. Left mid's got to be front and back just in case. Cover this guy. Right mid's doing a good job tracking his runner. Ah, that's tough. I mean, right mid could stick with this guy. I'm fine with it. Goes to goes to get the ball. Skeep saves it. That's just an unlucky deflection. Tough goal to concede, but that that's I. There's nothing you can really do there. Gonna have to take a second to catch up. Ball's coming to me. I don't even think about it. I see the right mid open. I probably see the striker. Don't care. Get the ball back. Keep everybody in position. Reset. And keep moving. First touch is back. Cryo stay outside. They win the ball back, so we're pressing high. Center back, you got to be dropping. You got a guy here. Actually, you don't got to be dropping. You're good there. Just know that this guy's running. This guy's running. I'm stepping forward. I got to be dropping. CDM's got to be dropping. Right mid's got to be dropping. Left mid's got to be dropping. Full sprint back until we're all behind the ball. Chase back up. Right mid. It's fine where he is. Probably step up a little bit just in case of that line. Uh, other than that, left mid come up with pressure. I don't know what happens. Left mid come up and pressure. CDM stay on this big guy right here. Center back's got the striker. I come over, mark this guy, and then we're forcing this guy back. Force the long ball. We win the header. Goes out for a throw. I think the striker gets to it. Don't don't play that ball. Again, Cam Cam's open right here. Right side of the field's open. Right mid's making the run into the space. Don't play this ball. It's one, two on one, two, three, four, five. Use the numbers we have. Go back to the cam. Yeah, he gets the ball, but point stands. Alright. This guy, not doing anything out here. Come in. All these guys can score. We got another guy standing behind me, I think. Yeah, right here, this blue arrow. Come here. The, I don't care about him. Keep everything in front of you. Now we got, if you're here, 
he can come over here watch these two i'm still dropping off and i can also watch this guy but because you're over there i have to hard watch this guy and he has to hard watch this guy Super ball ends up getting to him if you stay on the inside of the two of us you're able to be where the uh, light blue is right now instead of on the outside of him and that's not a goal so two goals conceded one of them very easily preventable from just being in a better position all right here left man's gonna be sprinting back just in case right man's gonna be sprinting back just in case cdm's gonna be sprinting back just in case i know they're up attacking it's fine they're up attacking just know you gotta sprint back now Again, if that long ball comes across, the LCB will get there in time, but the left man's got to come back just in case this number, these numbers start to build up coming forward. All right, I'm stepping out here to the wing because the left man is missing. Fine, we're up at attack. I'm stepping in. Left man needs to drop and cover my space. Left man stays up, marking nobody. Panic had this DM. They play it out right out of the press because there's no one here. I'm still dropping back. I still got two guys right here. Left mid. Right here. Two of them. Left mid. Standing still. Again, not trying to call anybody out, but got to be getting back. I don't want the ball. going back no one forced that forward i know that pass was to me i don't i'm not complaining about it our, our rcb is dancing right mid you either gotta come way back right here or sprint and call it out either one you're kind of in no man's land he can't really pass through the ball when he was dancing back here with a defender on him this defender was on you now that he's free if you're over here he can give it to you and you can look in the middle or you can look cry a line or if you're going, he can send you. But right now, you're kind of doing nothing. Ball comes in. Left mid either needs to be running wide or straight like he's fine. If he's going straight, that's fine. He's pulling this defender, calling him back. Striker, he's not breaking the line. That ball... He's running forward, so he's not getting the ball to feet. I'm right, wide open right in front of you in space. You give it to me. This right mid, this outside mid continues into that space. I can play a pass. He goes offside. I can hold it and switch back the other way. He's coming to me, not to this guy. All right, again, they're on a break. Right mid's got to be sprinting back. You got to sprint it back. Center backs are doing right, staying all in the center. You don't want to spread out left in the middle. Left mid's are jogging back. This guy's wide open. Plays developed for a long time, and we look up, and again, got to be back. Got to be on this guy, so Vendy can come in, mark this guy. Danny can step up, or Danny can step back, and they both mark him because he's a tall player. But Danny's got to watch these two. Vendy's got to watch this guy because we're outnumbered. We need one more. And now, look, if that cross had come in, this guy's wide open. I end up getting it, but again, this guy, wide open. prefer it there if the center back didn't stay up on a corner i get it you want to give the option of the cross but right now i think the right center back's on the right the left center back's on the left and you get two dms in the middle and they're playing a tall striker if they counter off this which i don't think they do based on where everybody is but if they counter off this we're in trouble Ball comes to feet here. Striker's just offside. He's got to come back. But I I see it first time. If you play it first time, it's great. If you don't, you take a touch in. But at that time, it's a mesh. Hold it up. Back inside. There's plenty of space over here to keep it going. 
bring it to the cam, use the midfield, this, this force is unnecessary. Much better job on this corner. All three back are in the center. This allows this DM to run out wide. If this guy's out, way out here, like he was last time, DM kind of has to hesitate and watch this guy, and I gotta watch this guy in the middle so this guy's free. Because we're both in the center, DM's a little free to come over, put a little pressure on him out here. Not come all the way, good job. This, he, wow, English. Uh, you drop him off because you see this option back. He's still watching the feet. I can watch this, and then if they go back post, there's plenty of time for this guy to walk over and meet him back post. Okay, ball comes in here. I don't know what happens, but I'm going to say, cut it back. Look in the middle. The striker should make this run this way. Drag this defender. Cam should try and get open in this space, and I'm going to come open in this space. Pull it back here. Don't go forward with it. Goes forward with it. No. So halftime, two goals conceded. One I'm okay with. One's just a rebound, whatever. Another one I'm not. Should be one nothing at the worst. One one two one, depending on how many chances we had. Probably should put some away. Should not be two nothing. Right center back right now is way back. This guy's completely onside. That's completely avoidable. CCB is holding them off. Completely onside. Giveaway is tough, but this this is completely avoidable. Okay, now we're cutting back. Right mid's running back. Good job. Left mid, I think, is running back. Yes, yeah, this center back watching him. This center back's watching this guy. This center back's watching this guy. I'm watching this guy. This DM can watch this run over here. Pretty good coverage right now. Lost them. Just gotta stay. Just gotta stay in front of them and goal. So at this point, it's the 48th minute. It's it's three nothing, and heads are starting to drop. But really, should be one nothing at the absolute worst. Probably one one or better. That's a little fucked up. Got a fucked up animation. Pass to the cam, which I think you do. That's fine too. I'm okay with that. All right, pass it in. You get the left striker here, go wide, go into the space. So if he drops it back into the DM, boom, boom, boom over here. You're in here, you're, you're letting these guys stay central. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight guys defending central. You come out here, you either pull one out wide, and then now there's one less guy in the middle, or they leave you open. But go out here. So it comes back. Should have come to me. He's not open. You don't have that option. It's tough. Take your touch there. There's no one pressuring you. One time to me. Or one, two, touch to me. I can keep going out. Ball's coming to him. Right mid. Show out here. You, you're not giving him anything out there. He's got to be able to get us off his feet. He's got one, two, three guys around him. Bad ball for me to give to him. I can probably go to the striker here. Better option would probably go to the striker here. Give to him. Right mid out here. But this one I'll, I'll take on me. Out here. Like way down here all right blown coverage let's see okay right mid sprinting back sprinting back sprinting back ball is played in the middle and he stops so right now both of these players are on both of them need to be running back into the space you have a center back on a player center back on a player center back on a player i'm sort of half watching this guy i should be a step over to rock that pass but Two of you in this space. Shouldn't be coming over. Ball in. Easy goal. Striker's in the corner. He's going to cut it back. Right mid. Here. In this area. Out wide. So he can cut it back and we can go around once this. Because you got one, two. First one, two, three, four, five in the middle. I'm coming here, but I'm not getting the ball. Back. He's going to go have to go back and across. You got to be over here. He ends up working it forward, tries to get it across, win a corner, that's fine. Smarter thing to do is for him to stop, realize we're outnumbered in the box, work it back, keep the ball, go back around the field. But in order to do that, again, needs the help behind him. Again, good three in the center. Let him have it, he can't score there. 
He's going to cross it, try and get in the way. The striker misses. I need to do a better job of stopping that cross, recognizing that we have a mismatch with fast post. That's on me. I need to get out there, stop that cross, but it didn't hurt us in the end. Right mid's in the center of the field. Left mid, good positioning. Over here. All right, he has a good press. So left mid, get closer to him, tighter to him. This guy's over here. I'm on this guy. Cam is on this guy. Striker's pressing. If left mid's up here, he doesn't really have this option, and he's got to go either back to the keeper or play it into someone with a tight position. But just get a little closer, and this is a great press. Instead, boom, boom, and he would be through. He went offside. Okay, that that's my mistake. Let's let's see what I could have done better. Call out everybody else. Call out myself. Here we go. I give it to me. I see the left mid open. Again, I can either do that or go back to Danny. Danny has nothing other than the keeper. Maybe he can go to Lambs, but this guy comes here. So yeah, left mid's good. Comes back to me. I see this. Why can't I get it there? Um. Yeah, I'd may maybe striker. But I give it away here. Shouldn't do that. DM Reddit. Striker is the better option. Bad on me. Left mid's got to be sprinting back. LCB should be over here. We're kind of all organized because it was a giveaway on the break. I get what he's trying to do. He wanted to stop the shot in case he went back post. But right now you're leaving this guy who's way over here on side. DM, I think you're fine marking this guy. You're here. You're on him. I need to be over here on him. You should be stepped up in, in, in kind of this area because if he goes out wide over here, he can't score from there yet. So we're just kind of all over the place right now because we gave it away in a bad position. That's my fault. Gets it, and that's five. So again, bad turnover by me, and then getting back, we're all kind of scrambling to try and stop a shot. Turned out bad. Just cooler heads in the back, and then... But again, don't give it away in the midfield. That's on me. Oh, Pip Cryo, you had him. Give it to Blue there. So here... Um... I mean, left mid step up, but you're not getting there. Maybe step into the space. I This guy marked. I think they go to the striker, so maybe just step over a little, but not much wrong in that. Right mid, this is your guy. Got to watch him. Runs right by you. And now he's free. RCB's got to watch that. CC's got to watch this while this guy's here. It's kind of tough on him. Again, you got to be here. You can't get beat. RCB gets the ball, goes to turn up line. There's no one up line. You got to be over here. Instead, tries to go play back to DM. Doesn't really have that angle and ends up going to their player. Should probably just go back to CCB here. He plays long to get out of danger. If he had hesitated another second, which I know it's tough as a CCB, gets it hesitate just just another second and this lane opens up if you watch plays that pass to me i can go to the right mid and we're through but it's under pressure and i get it so he plays along again we have some great builds out of the back it's just consistently doing it is the problem um, i'm going to say the same thing again right here so left me gets the ball He's not beating these guys. I don't care if he's sprint full speed in the first minute or the 90th. Never beating these guys. You got one, two, three, four white shirts, two black shirts. I'm open in the middle. Cam's open in the middle. Work it to one of us. These guys will get open. Don't play that. Again, left mid got to be hauling ass back. Right mid hauling ass back. Two DMs hauling ass back. LCB has this, this guy. CCB's got this guy. RCB's got this guy. Or RCB's kind of watching this guy right here. This guy DMs on this guy. Nothing comes of that because we're all good marking right there. All right, now they win it. Right mid, you got to be on this guy so CCB can kind of step in the middle. This more becomes the RCB's responsibility once the right mid drops. You have him wide open. Gotta be here. Gotta be here. Gotta be here. Yes, the two DMs. DMs coming here. I'm coming to his feet. 
still this this LCD was based on where the ball is and which center backs should not be covering this guy. I shouldn't be covering this guy. I need to stay in the middle. Here, I mean, you're actually standing still. Still wide open. We get the ball back, but again, wide, wide open. All right, so that's, that's the end of Galatasaray. 5 nothing, and again, four of those goals, very preventable. I'm okay with allowing one of those, and again, at worst, that should have been one nothing. Need to score our chances. That's a different topic, but again, one nothing, not five. This is the PC and PSG game. Review, tactical, positional, whatever you want to call it. Let's get into it. So kick off again. Press it. Want it. We go up. We press high, and we win it back. Now it's our ball. Just go back to the keeper there. I know the keeper doesn't want it, but if you, if you pop it back to the, LC, uh, the keeper right there, the RCD was wide open. Boom, boom, we're in possession. You don't have to force it in the middle of the, the CDM. We don't lose it there. We don't have risk that chance. And it's going to follow our way, but unnecessary risk. Keeper should be able to have that ball and then go out to the RCB. Right here, RCB's getting the ball. The right mid started running away. All that does is force him to go to the DM. DM's got a guy on him. If he's good enough, he should be able to turn and give it to me on the inside. If you drop in here, if you're forcing this guy to make a choice to come out here, either to guard you and allow the, uh, the center back to step up, in which case he has the striker wide open in a straight line, or he stays in the center, in which case he gives you the ball and you have the striker. Run towards him, not away from him. Striker gets the ball here, looks inside. He's looking for this run, I see it, which is probably why he hesitates. Uh... As soon as that run, you realize you're not getting the ball off. Your best pass is probably to me right here. You get, you get this lane, and then I can hold it, look for the cam, look for the outside mid, look to set it back to the LCB. But I see you're looking for the run, so it's kind of hard. Once once that run's gone, it's kind of hard to readjust, but you got to have your eyes everywhere, so you got to find me here in the middle. Again, took another dribble, cam opened up, I opened back up gotta get it off your feet as soon as that run's gone you gotta get it off your feet again again this guy outside mid on the other team other our right side mid should be right here on him just in case he's a little high you're marking nobody if they have the ball you shouldn't be running up I'll give credit where it's due. Good goal. Good job. All right, here. Outside mid. You can either be pressing this guy so it cut off that angle or watching this runner right where you're standing. Can't be there. You're doing nothing. I'm watching this guy in the middle because I can't make sure I have to make sure this ball can't come into him. Our LCB shouldn't be dragged out wide, so you either need to be blocking that lane or running the player. Right mid, same thing. You're, you're doing nothing up here. I don't care that it's right off kickoff. you got to be awake right off kickoff. Also talk about don't give it away right off kickoff. But All right, now the marking's here. He's behind the ball, so this RCB should be over on him. CCB's marking this guy. I'm marking the cutback. LCB recovers. All right, great. Here, we won the ball back. We got it high. We have one, two, three, four white shirts behind us with one, two, three purple shirts reset it they've already recovered defensively don't force this forward dm dm outside mid someone don't force it forward good job he did and shot almost goes in see i did i first time watching it didn't know what happened but my immediate reaction was recycle it which he did good job Right there, RCB gets caught out. Right mid does a great job tracking back. That's that's not his fault. The ball ends up back to the player. Good job recovering and watching for your uh, OCB who got dry up forward. This is on me. I'll go back. Go back to the throw on this throw, and this goal is on me. So right now, see this tall guy? We know what they're trying to do. CCU recognizes it, comes over, tries to mark him. There are two guys in the center here. I know at first I have this guy. 
and the tall guy starts to creep in, I'm here at his feet. He's going to win the header, and it's not going to go to his head. It's going to go to his feet, so I'm fine to have him because the LCB has this guy. Comes in, ball comes in. I'm caught ball watching. I'm standing still. I should be here in front of this guy, and if I am, goal doesn't happen. That one's on me. Back, back to the LCB. This guy's coming in. I'm wide open in the middle. I know you see the lane to the outside mid, but unless he's over here showing to you, I'm wide open. Turns into him, loses the ball. We get it back, we're fine, but just give it to me. I can keep going the other way or back to the other side. Good press here. He had him, striker had him, Cam had him. You were stopping that run. You're marking that defeat. They have to play it long. Good press. They do play it long. It's going to get over, so right now, right mid, RC, RDM, LDM, left mid, all need to be sprinting back, sprinting back, sprinting back, sprinting back. Because these center backs got one, two, three on one, two, three, four, five. And I think he's going to start running and he's going to start running. So one, two, three, four have to come back. All right, so one, two, three are coming back. Jogging. What jogging means is you're marking him. These two are watching this run. I'm putting pressure on him. He's putting pressure on him. This guy's wide open. Left mid, I see you trying to make a run in here. Drop into the space in case this ball doesn't get played. This ball should get played. If it doesn't, he's going to turn and need possession. In this space, he can go back to me. I can go to you. Kind of be over here. Right mid's on the ground. Call for help, call for help, call for help. Someone come back. You, Because you're in behind, you need to watch this run so the Y ball can't go to feet. You need to step up and press. I need to come over. Left mid's got to come over and help because these guys are going to start to outnumber us in the middle. Okay, so RCB did, comes up, steps here. This center back needs to watch here. You got to watch here. I got to watch here. You got to come back and put pressure. They turn. Right mid was on the ground, so it's not his fault, but this center back should have been coming over. He's going to come in and score. Right mid's got to be hustling back. Right mid was on the ground, so it's not his fault, but we got to recover and watch each other on this one. This is, um, this is one I'm going to consider is okay to score. It wasn't a terrible goal because of how the right mid ended up on his ass. Those situations defensively, I'm okay with it. They got to play it long. We, we have plenty of people that can figure that out. I'm pretty good, aren't I? All right, here, left mid. Do not play this path. Your cam is wide open in the center. Give this ball to him. He'll make something happen. Another touch, another touch, another touch. Cam is no longer open, but the striker is. Go back with it. Don't need to take all the space. You got one, two, three, four, five, six white shirts. You're not going to outnumber him. You've got to outplay him. Outplaying him is going back. I make a bad decision here, so let's see what I could have done better. Ball finds its way to me. I get it. I have this striker back open. Take another touch. You gotta go to left mid here. This is on me. I see this. I try to play it. It's not a good ball. I need to go to left mid here. Because I take another touch. By that time, this DM stepped up. That pass was gone. This guy's still wide open. I gotta go here. Here, now we need a left mid coming back because you have this center back on him, this center back on him, this center back on him. I'm watching this guy. He's watching this guy. This outside mid's watching this guy. This guy's free and open because the left mid has to come back and guard him. Ball gets back into the middle. These guys kind of have to step up because he was going to turn. He gets open free. I think we could play that a little better. So left mid's got to be sprinting back here. That's that's one. Ball comes back in. This DM should stay here in the center. There's no point in you pressing. I'm coming to press. You got to watch one, two, three passes. Don't come press here. You press. He's able to turn. This guy gets the ball. If you stayed in this area, it's yours. Now this center back has to make a choice because if this comes in, they can turn and shoot. So you got to step towards the ball. They don't get it. Gets over to the right mid. I don't mind the right mid being right here. 
or their right side mid. I don't mind our right mid being right here. He's watching this guy. That's more on the DM needing to stay in this space. All right. This is kind of a weak press right here. I see where you're both going, but we have two guys going for the same press. This guy ended up being wide open. This DM should have stayed more here, seeing this guy come and stepping up or up walking up to him so he couldn't get the ball. I'm watching this guy. Left mid's doing a good job on his guy. Right mid, come back. You're not marking this guy right now, so I want you to come. You should be back here marking this guy. I think this ball gets played through right here. They, they gave us one right here because this guy ended up getting way too wide, and we can recover and get there in time. But it was, a, it was a weak press, followed by right mid, kind of being in no man's land. Led to a, a chance that should have been. So halftime again, this time 3-1 PSG. Should should maybe be 1-1. One, one. Should maybe, if not be one nothing. Three goals, very preventable. Gotta do better. The striker's kind of getting a little space. Good job. You gotta be kind of up here, which you're, you're doing fine. I don't care if you're there or kind of here. Give him the option back, and then he can turn in, go to you, could turn back, come into me, which I think he does. No, if you were up, so he turns back, has no one to pass to. If you were up there a little bit, he would have been able to give it to you, and we still have the ball. All right, you're getting the ball. Cam's wide open. Give it to him. Don't, no need to get stuck in the corner here. Cam was wide open in the middle. Cam is more important than this guy getting stuck in the corner. All right, so this press, I should be coming up and stepping onto this guy. Left mid has his guy. This DM is marking these two because they're standing next to each other. He's got him. He's got him. He's got him. I should be coming up and pressuring this guy. He ends up turning back and passing it back to a center back anyway, which is fine, but it was a, it was a poor press by me. Good patience. Didn't want to play it here because he's putting him in nowhere. I'm coming up to show. Give me the ball. Perfect. Now I have time. I can find the middle. Turns back, I'm okay with that shot. Alright, we were just attacking, they cleared it out, that's fine, they're gonna have numbers, these center backs are dropping so they don't get fly balls. Sprint back, sprint back, sprint back, sprint back. Alright, we got one, two, three, four, five, six in the middle, one, two, three, outnumbered, no point trying to force something, come back with it. And he does. See this left mid position perfectly, they didn't run up into the right, the left wing, which case would be blocked. They stayed between their center backs and our center backs, giving this cam an option when we got the ball. Great positioning right here. This right mid should be about the same spot over here. It's a little tough. I see the striker here. Probably want to work that back inside to me. I was open. I should have called for it. Give it to me. I can find this right mid in space, the CDM, something else in the middle. Try not to force it to this guy out wide. Right here is perfect. They have the ball. We got three center backs in the box. Left mid marking this guy over here in case cross comes back post. Right mid's back here in case he tries to dribble in. This cross is fine. DM's marking this guy. If he has to come out here, I can step. You're marking him. This is great defense right here. All right. So we get good patience in this build up. Right mid plays it. He gets it. He comes across the middle. His right mid is too narrow. So what this is doing is allowing this guy to come in and then putting another body in the center. I'm okay with the left mid being up because we didn't have anyone up over here. I'm kind of coming over to this space in case we need to play it wide here. Right mid, you need to come and drag this defender out of the area. As the play develops, this defender comes inside if you're over here wide. The CDM can turn and this guy isn't here so he has all the space to play him. Because you came centrally and you're not out here for him to pass it to, this defender is both defending you and causing him an obstacle to dribble into. And he ends up having to play it into a bad spot. Good haul off by the right mid there. Cam does well to get back in the middle. I get it. I'm looking for the cam here. Ball goes lost onto the striker. Ends up coming back in our favor, but I really wish that ball went to cam the first time. We score from it, so cool, but I hate missing passes. Okay, cool. Now we gotta press because they're gonna hold it back. So what we gotta do is make sure this left mid is either up here on this guy. One more pressing like this, actually, I do want the left mid up here on this guy because this guy's being marked by the center back right now. These two guys got him. You're going to end up pushing up to him. 
this cam will end up pushing here you'll end up pushing here i can end up pushing this guy he can end up pushing that guy right middle push this guy the center back will swing here and that's how you full press especially when trying to get it back in the 82nd minute if it comes back across that's your guy if you don't get it run up to him these three center backs are marking two guys right now so they can step up let this guy go offside you can come over to him he's not gonna be able to pass it because you're coming from this direction so he won't be able to pass it to you dm's coming to mark off this guy this guy's covered this guy's covered this guy's covered kind of unless he plays it long if he plays it long we have a chance to win it back in the air because he wasn't pressed and instead we dropped off he was able to take time dribble it and this guy found a way to get open so that's a game we end up losing three to two but again probably should have been two to one if not two nothing it's all about easy mistakes letting up easy goals we shouldn't be allowing easy goals can't be letting other teams win game. We can't be losing games. If other teams beat us, it's because they won it. But we've lost these past two games. This game, this night should have ended with probably a one nothing loss because we couldn't finish, and then a two one win. Instead, it ends up five nothing and a three two, and we end up conceding eight goals when it should have been at most two goals. So it's all about team defending. It's all about being on the same page and understanding where everybody should be, because then you prevent these little things. And you end up taking three points from this night, four points from this night, instead of none. So, hope that was helpful. I didn't mean to call anybody out. Outside mids, nothing against you. I know you can do it. If I didn't think you could do it, I wouldn't be taking my time to make these videos. You got this, but we gotta, we gotta all be on the same page. So, I look forward to seeing you guys next time I see you. Have a good night.